Hey everyone. Welcome to the stream. It is uh, Tuesday, the eighth of December, and uh, oh, <laughs> I've got the slight uh, little delay on my screen over there. But um, I just wanted to say hello, everyone. Uh, we are here. It's all live. Let's go. So today is a much more laid-back stream than we've done in the past. This is just basically us having a chat. There's not going to be much structure to it. My little boy's here. He's going to be in and out. So say hi. Hi, Dad. Hi. Cool. What are you playing with? Yeah, he's got an iPhone. So, right. Um, how's everyone doing today? How many people have we got? We've got 33 people on the stream already. Are you just going to hang out in the background or are you going to wander off? That's cool. <laughs> so, um, yeah, today we have got uh, product announcements. We've got Ted wandering in and out. That's going to happen. We're just going to have to get used to the fact that he is a presence in today's stream, that's just a thing. Um, I have opened up pretty much all of the uh, Apple rumor sites that I kind of give a crap about, the ones that I think are worth looking at. Um, so we've got uh, Mac rumors, we've got Colton Mac, we've got Apple Insider, we've got 9to5Mac, and then we've got the official Apple website, which I'm going to keep uh, popping onto and doing a little refresh, see what happens. Um, but at the moment, the store seems to be up. So that is interesting, right? If I hit buy, yeah, I can still go in and buy like an iPad Air. Not that I want to, I've already got one. Um, but yes, right, let's have a look at what we've got in the chat. I can get this thing out of the way. Because to be honest, we're not going to play too much with the stream and stuff. Is the sound and stuff all right for you guys? Just uh, let me know in the comments if it's sounding good. And if you've got any questions, uh, post them up. I'm going to head through the chat now and see what we got. So. Uh, we have in the chat, we've got the guys that I've said hello to you already, Daniel Doran, uh, we have, uh, Daniel, by the way, I have upgraded you to being a moderator, um, thanks, you're not getting paid, uh, Pascal Munix, we have Hynix Pro, we have, uh, Thomas E, Pascal again, done that one, uh, let's head down, Robert Bailey, how you doing, Lego Vlogger, hello, um, Music Dog, hey, how's it going? Let's go through some of these. Lee Carter. 12-inch uh, MacBook for seven ninety nine would be nice. Yes, it would. Um, if that's what comes out, I will probably get that instead of the Mac Mini. So, I have had problems today with my iMac. My iMac has been crashing out during Final Cut. It's been crashing out while I've been trying to... Uh, it was halfway through rendering today's show at about 9.30 this morning. And it decided to just completely shut down. Just everything went off and that was terrifying. But... Um, it's all good. Uh, sound is good, but only 720p. Yeah, that's because I'm using the built-in um, iMac camera. So, uh, yeah, sorry about that. I ain't setting everything up because I don't know if anything's even going to happen today. This is very much a kind of um, chat and hope, and uh, and we'll, we'll see what goes on. Um, 720p should be enough to uh, to hear what we're doing. Uh, it should be absolutely fine. I've got a couple of lights on, so uh, it shouldn't be too bad, video-wise. Um, right. Uh Andre Louis, hey, how you doing, man? We were chatting a lot on Twitter the other day. Um, Max, AirPods Pro Max, giant AirPods that are so big you can't fit them on your head, but they take over your whole face, or a VR helmet with AirPods Pro built into them. Okay, not, but still. Cool. Yeah, um, so this is, uh, this is based on what John Prosser was saying yesterday on Twitter. He mentioned that he thinks, well, he, he basically just said the word Max. Um, so we'll see what happened there. Um, we'll see if he's right. Uh, that is then something that Sam picked up on from iUpdate, um, who is also the guy that runs Apple Track, uh, the guy that basically decides whether um, leakers are legit or not, um, based on their track record, which is a really cool way of doing it. I think he's doing a great job over there. Um, but we will see what happens. Uh, Max equals SC2 Max. Yeah, I think that's that's a, a possibility there, Ian. Um, there's a potential for it, uh, whether they would call it a Max or a Plus, though, because it's not um, because it's not, not the new design style. They were always a Plus, but we will see. Um, what's up, Tanache Um See if I got that anywhere close. I, I know I've said it before, and I got it fairly close. Uh, Thomas E, what's not happening according to uh, BKV? Um, not sure. Can't see actually what. Uh, 
minor release. Uh, yeah, anything can drop after one. Yeah, that'd be cool. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, if we got a 12-inch MacBook SE, I'd buy it. Yeah, absolutely. I think I would definitely probably go for that. Um, even if... Now, uh, let me know in the comments, would you go for the MacBook SE if it came out with an A14 level chip instead of an M1 chip? So the A14 is about the same performance as the old MacBook Pro 13 inch with an i5 in it, uh, whereas the M1 is around the performance of the i9. So let me know, would you go for a 799 MacBook SE with 256 uh, gigabytes of storage, 8 gigabytes of RAM and an A14 level processor? That is an interesting question, I think. Let me know, what would you do? Would you go for that, or would you uh, spin the extra 300 to go up to an M1 MacBook Air? Uh, why is there no video link for this release, uh, Max the Dog? Because it doesn't look like it's going to be that much of a major one. It looks like it's probably more likely to be a, um, a press release drop, which is why we thought maybe it was going to be the updates, the very slight updates, to being able to put in a... Uh, 10 gigabit Ethernet port um, into the Mac Minis. Uh, let me just have a quick check on Twitter. I'm going to keep an eye on this just in case anything crazy goes on on Twitter and we find out what's going on. In fact, uh, if any of you are wanting to help me out, um, take a screenshot of this stream and post it up on Twitter with a link to it so that people can see where we are. We've got 77 people in the stream. That's pretty good. That's not bad at all. That is actually more, I think, than the uh, the cult cast gets when they're streaming their show, when they're uh, sort of putting it together. We're now up to 82. This is good. I like it. Right, let's just uh, tweet this out. I'm going to tweet it out on uh, at iCave underscore Dave. Uh, we are live now. Let's just get some more people on this stream. Join the party. Right. Whoa, it's going up and up and up. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, you guys are cool. Right, let's have another quick look at the chat. We haven't got a huge amount to actually talk about until something comes out, other than what might come out, which is a bit of a weird situation to be in. Um, but it's it's kind of fun. Let's just hang out and talk about Apple stuff. If you've got any questions, um, hit me up in the comments and throw on the hashtag I gave answers, and then I'll be able to definitely make out that it's a question you want me to answer. That would be really cool. Um, 12 inch for 6.99. That would be a thing. Yannick lamp. Yeah, that would be an awesome thing. Don't see it happening just now. Um, but 7.99 might be realistic. I think we will get a 7.99 MacBook Air Are you when. No, I am not. Uh, I do think we'll get a uh, 7.99 MacBook Air next year. Still keeping the uh, the M1 probably when the M2 versions come out. So I think that's probably what they'll do, is the M1s will become like the SE version. Um, but we will see. Uh, everyone's silly. Obviously, it's the iPhone 12 Mini Max, because, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's, <laughs> like, I think an iPhone 12 Mini Pro would do quite well. Um, chuck the extra camera on there and have the battery run out in sort of three to seven minutes. Right, what else we got? Can't wait for the memes on new AirPods Pro Max slash Studio. Right, the reason that I uh, I think AirPods Pro, Stu uh, Pro Max actually works as a good thing, and I am going to do a whole video just around uh, what Apple should do with their naming, because Apple naming is all over the place right now. But it would actually bring stuff um, kind of together. It would kind of unify things a little bit, where the the best version of something, the biggest version of it, gets the Pro Max name, and then... Um, because at the minute, like, air can mean anything. And I've ranted about this in my videos before. Um, but, yeah, yeah. Um, so, let's have a quick look down here. I got it right, bro. Cool, Tanache. I did it all right. That is a... It's a funky name for me to uh, to nail. Um, Lego Vlogger, you would buy the 12-inch with an A14 inside. Uh, Max the Dog, I hope it's an M1 16-inch. That would be good for video editing with lots of battery. It would have insane battery if you had one of those. That thing has got nearly a hundred um like 100 watt hour battery which is like the most you can put into something and fly with it um, and if it was using the same processor as the current macbook pros uh, like it would just be insane it would be probably 36 hours maybe more of battery um angelo faparini uh, fakiparini fakiperi 
Uh, I need an iMac. Uh, I wait. Yeah, definitely. I think it's going to be March for you for iMacs. That's when we are expecting that to happen. Uh, why save a bit of cash to buy something that will be obsolete sooner? What? Yeah, for the M1 or for the A14 thing? Um, yeah, it might be. But it's also super quick now, and Apple stuff just keeps its value really well. Like the iMac that I'm using right now, although it started to get a little bit crashy, it probably needs a reinstall of uh, the OS and stuff. It is technically uh, a vintage iMac now. It's not supported anymore. But, like, this thing is still a beast, and it does my videos every day, and I have no issues. It still sort of renders faster than real time and stuff like that. So I can't really complain. Um, and I could probably still resell it for, I don't know, seven, 800 um, it was 1900 new. You probably drop half half the value in like seven years. That's insane for a computer. Uh, right. Let's have another look down. Uh, Tim Beaton, a four Thunderbolt port Mac M1 Mini is what I would buy in a heartbeat. Won't be that, of course. Yeah, Tim. I think the reason for that is the Thunderbolt controllers are built into the processor, into the SoC itself. I think. I don't think they're part of the mainboard. So, um. It would be very difficult to do a four Thunderbolt port version of that unless they put an external one on the outside of it. Uh, Daniel Duran, you got modded? Yeah, you did, man. Um, because you're just like helping so much on uh, in, on answering questions for me. It's re been really cool. Uh, Satyam Giri, will there be multiple products or just a single product? We just don't know. Um, that is kind of the question, I guess, right now. Um, it could go either way. We could have uh, multiple things. I think almost certainly the... Apple Fitness Plus can't be far away unless they're literally keeping it for after Christmas for like destroying every gym that's trying to do a um, come and get fit in January kind of thing because most people pack on the pounds over Christmas. Um, like maybe they're going to launch it on Christmas Day. It's just going to appear in everyone's inboxes. Um, but could be multiple products. Could be just one. We don't know. What does my shirt say? It says makes all the sense in the world. This is the iCave Answers uh, special t-shirt uh, you can buy it uh, icavedave.com forward slash merch something like a small refresh is coming up maybe an ipad with a14 um, no they've only just re uh, updated the regular ipad up to an a12 the uh, ipad air has the a14 which is this one right here and yeah i've put it in a cool skin today i think these red ones look absolutely awesome um but yeah um the regular iPad is uh, an A12. That's your $329 version. The $579 is uh, iPad Air. And then you go up to the iPads Pro. iPad Pro, if... Um, in all honesty, if they hadn't already kind of leaked out... Oh, hey, Front Page Tech is here! Front Page Tech in the house. Hey, John. How you doing, man? Always nice to see you. Um... Max, come on, give us a little bit of a scoop. Is that a name for the headphones? Uh, if John wants to answer, that would be amazing. Um, but I do love it when you guys uh, just pop in. Really appreciate it, guys. Um, so, yeah, uh, we're not going to be getting A14s in the regular iPads. That is the A12, A14 in there. But if, uh, if we weren't expecting the... Uh, mini LED versions of iPad Pro, I would expect that they would have just done that up to the A14X, which I would guess is pretty much the same as um, the M1. I think it's almost certainly going to be the same chip with different parts enabled and disabled inside. Um, so there we go. That's what I think is the situation there. Bought a base M1 MacBook Pro, but if a, a good 12-inch comes out, do you think I should exchange? No, I don't think there's any need to exchange it, unless you need to save the cash, but um, I'm, I'm not convinced that this base 12 inch one is going to come out now i think it if anything it might come out in the new year i don't think they're going to want to upset people that have already bought christmas presents for their family and for their kids and stuff like that um thomas e honestly i might buy a 12 inch with a a14 yeah i think as a theoretical product it's a pretty good one and there's still an upgrade on my current m3 2016 um your current M3 2016? Confused by that. I'm guessing MacBook Pro. 
um, 2016 by a large margin, which I still like. Cool. Uh, Tim Beaton, uh, my iMac 2014 i7 will need replacing, but it will have to wait. Yeah, mine's the 2013 iMac with an i5, so mine definitely needs an update soon. Uh, Vicious Dave for life, uh, thinking a new smaller iPod Touch, finally. They haven't updated to a new one in five years. No, they're not going to make a new iPod Touch. But if they do, um, feel free to create some sort of dare for me. Um, Tim Beaton, yeah, Thunderbolt ports integrated into the SoC. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, so it would need a new M chip or an external um, controller that sits outside the chip, but then you're going to lose a bit of performance on it. And nah, nah, don't know if they want to do that. I think they're going to try and keep everything onto the SoC as much as they can. Uh, you like the red skin, Daniel? Yeah, me too. They come from Extreme Skins here in the UK as well, which is uh, nice because it means I haven't got us wait so long. Um, oh, front page tech, just writing Max again. Thanks so much. Thank you for the clarification. Um, if that is actually John, let me know in the chat. Uh, I don't know if it's someone from the front page tech team or if it is actually John, uh, but either way, Loving every second of having you guys here and really appreciate what you do over on Twitter. Um, by the way, guys, the thumbnail image, I don't know if you noticed, but we've got the cool render in there now. So that has come from uh, Apple underscore tomorrow, uh, which is Saeed Ishmael on YouTube. Go and check out his channel. He does some awesome renders. We've used loads of his stuff in the past, including on today's video. We used his render of the AirPod Studio slash Max slash whatever the hell it is this week. Um... So, uh, yeah, it's John. Yeah! Hey, John. Good to see you, man. Um, Tim Beaton. Uh, I definitely just saw your name. And let me get back to it. Front page tech is here. Yeah, tech hyped. Get hyped. Uh, people are calling for me. Max Goodman. Yes, 100%. It's the AirPod Pro Max Goodman. That's what's coming out today. Uh, M1 Apple TV, absolutely not. Why do we need that much power in it, Lilibor Jensen? Or Jensen, I'm guessing it's Jensen. Um, let me know if I got that right. Uh, I used to work for Jensen's gym. Very nice. Um, Nico Schubert, yeah, Max, why are you so popular? Yep. Yeah. AirPods Max or AirPods Pro Max. Uh, what time is the event? There isn't actually an event as such, but we think 1.30pm uh, is when... Well, 1.30 p.m. our time here in the UK, which is GMT, which is UTC, which is what I work on, which is 5.30 a.m. in uh, Cupertino, which means that J uh, Tim Cook has probably been up for about five and a half hours because I think he gets up around midnight just after bed when he can go to the gym. Uh, I love my iPhone 12 Pro Max, just waiting for Apple Raw. Uh, Ian, I think you can get it if you go for the beta software. Um, I believe a few of the guys have been using it already, and it does sound like it's pretty good. I haven't actually played with it on my 12 Pro Max. I think I might have to play with it. That sounds like a good idea. Um, Siddharth Swain from Patia. Um, I think base MacBook will be like Apple Watch SE, which means M1 with smaller display, lacks the P3, and may only have one uh, Type-C port. Um, so yeah, I think that is quite possibly what they will do. I think we might get MacBook Air SE when the uh, M2s come out. I also think Mac Mini SE is definitely a thing that could happen. Um, I think Mac Mini SE is really a thing that they should do. They should get it back down to that $500 mark. Um, it would just be the easiest way to get people back into a Mac. And especially if they made it down to like the Apple TV size. Because there's so much space in those Mac Minis. There's so much empty room. That was the first thing I noticed as soon as we saw it. Um, but yeah, we are now up to 200 concurrent viewers, including John Prosser himself. It's so it's that's really surreal for me. I've been like following your stuff forever, man. Like right back to the days when you had the uh, the original beef with Taylor Siv. <laughs> like that was when I discovered you. So um, yeah, it's it's Drew's fault that I knew uh, John from way back. Cool. Where is my daughter? I don't have a daughter. It's my son. He's just wandered off and my wife is uh, my wife's here as well. Um, new headphones, Dennis Dunbar. Yep, I think you're probably right. That is what everyone seems to be saying now. Obviously going to be a HomePod Max. Are you coming back in? Can you come and say hi? No. No? Okay. I already said Yeah, I know. You did already say hi. I already said Uh... Watching this in the toilet for front page tech. Yes, toilet squad. Absolutely. Oh, and by the way, I was actually wearing my front page tech t-shirt yesterday uh, when I filmed the show from this morning. 
Hey, front page tech has super chatted. Thank you so much, John. Really appreciate it, man. Um, I hear my daughter playing. Yeah, it's my little boy. He is. Uh, he's out there. He's. Um, if you notice, he's got his little uh, NG tube. He is undergoing leukemia treatment, which is why he's like in and out a little bit. Um, but yeah, he's uh, he's all good, man. Um, I, am I going to get whatever comes out today? Uh, don't know. Don't know. It depends what it is, really. Um, if it's the headphones, might not. Um, because purely I, I have AirPods already. Um, I have tested them. They do uh, survive going through the laundry and the dryer, which is pretty awesome. Um, <laughs> don't recommend it. Uh, they are an interesting new shape now. Um, but I'm just going to quickly refresh Apple's website and see if we can still buy things. Has the store gone down? Nope. Uh, should we pop over to the newsroom? Are we expecting, by the way, um, whatever comes out today, are we expecting that tech reviewers already have it and maybe there's an embargo going to lift as well? Uh, because I'm not obviously favoured enough yet with my enormous 3,000 uh, subs, 3,500 subs, but I appreciate every single one of you guys. The headphones are going to be expensive. Yes, they are, John. Yes, they are. Uh, what are we thinking? 599 Five ninety nine is uh, is is a big money. It'll be posted on the newsroom. Yeah, that's that's where I'm sitting right now. Um, and still at the moment at the top of the newsroom, we have the Apple uh, App Store presents kind of cool aluminium trophy that I really made me want to uh, <laughs> to, to become an app developer. To be completely honest, no embargo on uh, review units. Good to know. So I'm not missing out. But there's very little that's going to be going on um, immediately after though. That's why I wanted to do this. Um, this is why I wanted to do this live stream because I don't know is it actually going to drop at the time? Is it going to be something that happens a little bit later? Um, let me just double check on John's Twitter to see if he has uh, posted a sorry Tim yet. <laughs> just because you're, you're in the chat room anyway but like maybe you've just dropped it on Twitter and you're, you're pranking me. Um, have some nice AKG cans so not and hugely interested in new ones. Yeah, I think it's going to be interesting what actually um, are the kind of unique features of this thing because it's very different. Like, it's not like what we've seen in the past. Tim Beaton, 399 is your guess. Uh, could be the one for the uh, for the sports version. I think 349 has been kind of bounded around for the sports version and then 599 for the higher end one. Uh, Hong Cheng Zing, uh, my guess, 429. Cool. Thomas E, yes, they have it. What do you have? What do they have, Thomas? Tell me. Um, you've seen 349 on Twitter. Yeah, that might have been me posting it, to be completely honest, uh, Pascal. Um, UK Apple Sheep. Um, what am I doing in my chat? Uh, just popped up on my home feed, gained a new serve. Awesome, man. Thank you very much. Uh, well, actually, I've put on my uh, on my Twitter name that I'm the I Shepherd. So, um, welcome to the flock. Sorry you're late for the stream. Well, Dorian, we had been waiting for you. We we were waiting for ages, uh, and we just had to start because you weren't here in time. Um, so the estimated time for this drop, or what we've kind of seen the rumours for um, via Mac Rumours, I think it was, uh, was uh, 13.30 U uh, UTC, which is 5.30 a.m. in Cupertino, which is seven minutes away. Might be less than that for you guys now. You will probably actually see it before I do because there is probably 30 seconds lag on the stream. Um, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's cool. Imagine new beats, <laughs> BKV. Um, yeah, I mean, like, what is the actual difference going to be here between beats and uh, Apple Studio stuff? Are Apple still going to be deleting the beats brand? I don't know. I still think that the main reason to keep Beats around is purely for people that use Android more, um, that are potentially not in the Apple ecosystem and maybe wouldn't want to have a, um, maybe just wouldn't want to have like Apple branded stuff because they don't think that Apple is a cool enough brand. And I kind of get that. If you're into the Samsung crowd, you probably wouldn't want to be wearing uh, iPhone headphones. That makes sure. Um, so what do you guys think? Do you think they're still going to keep Beats around? I think John actually mentioned that they were probably going to get rid of it at some point, And they got rid of Beats 1 Radio. So 
who knows? It's it's really kind of up in the air. And then they've released new Beats products as well, the Beats uh, Flex, which is a great product price-wise as well. $49, and it's basically got a lot of the stuff in there. Oh, yeah, Daniel Duran, only 25 likes. What is going on, you guys? We've got 234 of you in the stream. Smash that like button right now. Um, I really will appreciate it. Oh, we're up to 27. Boom. Come on, you guys. 28. You can you can tell from here what my lag is like. <laughs> but uh, I do appreciate every single one of you guys. Um, hopefully, if it replaces Beats, they will do something about that bloated bass. Well, yeah, actually, Apple's been really good. Like, their sound engineering right now has been off the charts. Like, the 16-inch MacBook Pros have had incredibly good... Um, reviews in terms of the speakers in there and actually the microphones are pretty good they're not as good as like studio quality mics which is what they always say um, but uh, it's pretty good oh we're up to 50 likes thank you very much guys um, yeah they're not like studio quality mics but this isn't really a studio quality mic you know it's pretty good but it's not uh, it's not up there um, Lego Vlogger you want to be a moderator of course you can man of course you can boom because I came and moderated for you a little bit as well. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, by the way, guys, um, Lego Vlogger is trying to get up to 200 subs on his channel by Christmas. So, please, if you have a moment and you like Lego stuff, which I kind of do. I've got a bunch of Lego stuff around here. Um, go and give him a sub because it would be cool. Right, we are on 1.26pm. We've not got long. We have probably... Um, have my lights got dimmer? Does it look darker to you guys? Um, <laughs> we've probably got about four minutes until the uh, the drop. I'm just going to refresh that. Actually, for some reason, it tends to be like a couple of minutes after that it shows up for me. I'm just going to see if I can turn this light up a little bit. Oh, no. Battery's dying on that one. So, we're just going to we're gonna deal with it. I think you can see me. Uh and we've got a nice bright screen up here for Apple's uh, newsroom up on top. So the, the extra display is going to help as a little bit of a light. Has anyone got any questions in the comments for a moment? So we can have a, a quick uh, chat about that sort of thing. Um, just got here and do not know when the event is specific standard time. Val Kitchen, there is not an event as such. There is just, as far as we know, going to be a product drop. That's kind of all that we know. Um... And we don't even know this. Like, this is a whole stream based on there was a thing that came out on Mac Rumors where some people that are involved in Apple Care are potentially got to be ready for some new stuff that they might have to care for. That's kind of the whole rumor, uh, which is an interesting uh, proposition. It's brought you all here. It's a, it's a good time for everyone. We're all having a good time together. Um. <laughs> I am so terrible at live streaming, guys. Um, but it is fun to just chat with you guys and just to hang out. So hopefully we'll get some stuff going on. Um, Arthur Swart. Oh, uh, a long time ago, I used XGrid to pull G4 Max to outperform the university maths mainframe. It worked. Wondering if XGrid still exists and if pulling two M1 Mac minis right now might perform as Xeon Mac Pro. Right. I don't know if... I, I don't think XGrid as it was exists anymore. But when they launched the 2018, I want to say, Mac Mini, they definitely said that you could bring them together as a kind of um, a, as a kind of group to process together. Um, so I think that might be something that still exists with M1s. I don't know if they've brought it over to the M1s or not. But, uh, yeah, that would be really cool, especially if you could, like, stack M1 Mac Minis. Right. Um, someone has just put in the chat, bring back the G4 Cube. Now... One of the things that I'm trying to work out if it's possible to do is um, to get a Perspex case built that would kind of hold a Mac Mini, the new M1 Mac Minis, in the same way that the G4 Cube does. Because, uh, and I just want to show you why, because I'm a big fan of this. This is the G4 Cube, which is just an awesome bit of kit that Apple released a little while ago. And apologies that my lighting has gone super crazy because I've just moved my lights. Um, but let's just try and prop that over there. But these things, if you've never seen them in person before, this is from back when Apple used to make awesome ways to open stuff. And um, that's how you dismantle it. The whole thing just comes straight out with that 
pretty awesome handle there. Um, and my power button's just dropped off. But still, I think this is probably one of the coolest Macs that Apple ever made. Uh, let's just make sure I put it back in the right way around. That way. Ooh, that power button does not want to stay on. But yeah, my G4 Cube is kind of one of my pride and joys here. Cool. But yes, uh, one of the things that I would love to do is to create a Perspex stand just like this that you slot um, a Mac Mini into the back of because I think that would be amazing. Right. It is now 1.30pm according to Apple's own clocks. So let's just give that a quick refresh. We have nothing new just yet on the Apple Newsroom site. Uh, I need to bring that up a little bit. Cool, 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 cool. Let's make some noise. Right, that is a little bit better. Ooh, it's bright. These little things as well, though, these lights that I'm using are, like, super cheap from Amazon. Uh, little LED things powered by a couple of double A's. And I think, to be completely fair, they're, they're quite impressive for what they are. Um, yeah, right, let's have a look back at the chat, because uh, <laughs> I was just playing with my toys for a little bit. This is not the best lighting, but apologies. Um, right, let's have a look. Are you sure a thing will be released today from watching content? Yeah, we're not sure. We're not sure. Uh, it's press release, which is unconfirmed. Yep. Uh, Game Boy in the back. Yes, we have got a Game Boy in the back. Again, original. This was uh, actually gifted to me by our wedding photographer. Um, yeah. Nice little thing. Apologies for the horrendous lighting at this point. But it's what we got. It's what we got. Uh, let's have a look down here now. A uh, bit closer. Oh, could I adjust the mic? A bit closer and more direct angle. Think the snowball. Uh, think it will do the snowball more justice. Is that better? Hopefully it is. Uh, that is for Andreas Bloch Jesperin. Um. Where did I get this nice haircut? I did it myself. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I'd be very surprised if you can't cluster Max in some way, Daniel. Yeah, I mean, you're probably better off uh, answering this one than I am. But, um, yeah, I, I think they definitely brought it in for the Mac Minis. Don't know if it's still a thing that you can do right now. So, uh, I'm just going to refresh that page again. See if we've got... Oh, Apple Fitness Plus launches December 14th. Has just arrived on the press release. That might be it. <laughs> uh, Apple Fitness Plus. So that was pretty much bang on the 130 that we were expecting. Um, that is now on apple.com forward slash newsroom forward slash 2020 forward slash 12 forward slash Apple hyphen fitness hyphen plus hyphen the hyphen future hyphen of hyphen fitness hyphen launches hyphen December hyphen 14. So that could be what we were expecting. Very exciting. Um, so that's cool. Uh, can I 3D print one? Yeah. Um, can I, yeah, so I'm guessing you're talking about the uh, the Mac Mini case. Um, hopefully. I mean, maybe we could do a prototype that way or something like that. Um, I need to find someone that can play around with Perspex. I did ask someone that made Perspex jewellery, like, could that be done? And they were like, oh. Which didn't help as much as they probably thought it would. Um, uh, at watching content, how many cores for John Processor? Um <laughs> The John processor would have at least 64 cores. Uh, the X grid I mentioned consisted of 8 G4 cubes. Oh! Oh! 8 G4 cubes. The silence, other than just clickety clickety hard drives. That would have been pretty cool. Arthur Smart. Um, I think it was like one of the Star Trek TV shows used Mac G4 cubes to run all of the background computers on the sets because they were quiet, because they were silent, um, which is quite cool. Hello, Ted. He's back. Um, isn't it time? Yep. So it looks like Apple Fitness Plus is what we've got so far. Let's just give it another quick refresh. In fact, let's shoot into the store and see if there's anything in there. Because maybe they're just going to drop something in the store without... Uh, no, they haven't. No. Uh, we've still got the normal AirPods. We don't have AirPod Studios. We don't appear to have anything else AirPody. Accessibility is still right there on the front page. There's not even a mention of... In fact, Fitness Plus still just says, like, notify me. But I'm on the 
I'm on the US store. Yeah. Why is that not? They've not even bothered to update that themselves. So. Uh, AirPods have just dropped. Where? The AirPods Max headphones are out. Where are they? Where are they? How did you find it? Back in the newsroom? Right, okay, let's go back. Oh. So we got all excited about chatting about other stuff. <laughs> there they are. Good stuff, guys. So we have got AirPods Max. Not even Pro Max, just Max. Cool. Okay. Right, I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. Max. Yes, John. Max. It is Max. AirPods Max. Right. I do like the I do like the sound of it. Don't they look a lot like who was it that put out those renders of some AirPods that had the little metal bits on Oh, it was John. John, you were right. Weird. As if has that got a digital crown on top? I'm just looking at the image now. I don't know if I can actually bring this into the chat, uh, into the video. Let's see what I can do. Because I know some of you probably aren't um, looking at this. Let me just add a image. Because obviously this has only just dropped, so pretty tricky. Mm -mm -mm. Drag that in. Downloads. Cool. Right. Let's throw it up. Boom. In front of my face. That's much better. I am a pro at live streaming. Cool. We have got it. We have got it. Um, Val Kitchen, have you only just noticed that John Prosser has been in the chat? He, like, dropped us another super chat and stuff. My wife's just arrived in the chat. Hi, Joe. Uh, headphones. Would you like some headphones? Do you want some headphones? Uh, have we got, I haven't even looked at the details on these things yet, but let's have a look. Yeah, it definitely looks like a digital crown on top of those headphones. Oh, we've got, oh, multiple colours. We've got four, five, one, two, three, four, five colours. So you've got white, you've got uh, grey, is that going to be graphite we're going to call it? Uh, we've got a light blue, we've got a kind of, I'm guessing that's not, please tell me that's not product red, that's definitely pink on the sides, but it's definitely red on top. And um, and green, so we have got a bunch of different ones. Um, right, let me turn off that picture now because uh, ta-da, I'm still here. Um, yeah. So I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't know. Yeah, it's actually they've actually called it the digital crown as well. Provides provide uh, precise volume control, ability to play or pause audio, skip tracks, answer or end phone calls, and activate Siri. So it's a watch on your head. I see. Cool. The noise control button, which is that one on the other side, I guess, from there, easily switches between active noise cancellation and transparency mode. And so this is the the reason. So breakthrough listening experience. 40mm Apple designed dynamic driver that provides rich, deep bass, accurate mids and crisp, clean, high frequency extension so every note can be heard. A unique dual neodymium ring magnet motor allows the airpods max to maintain total harmonic uh, distortion and less than one percent uh less than one percent distortion across the entire audible range Whoa, this is amazing right okay cool um so yeah so it's a nice nice set of headphones sounds good um i don't see oh so we've got spatial audio that's kind of as given so it is basically the equivalent of airpods pro that makes sense uh, adaptive eq um so yeah it basically okay okay so it's listening to the sound that's coming out inside your kind of ear holes and kind of adapting the eq to it it looks like that's quite cool transparency mode with airpods max you can switch to transparency mode the same as the pros spatial audio the same as the pros 5.1 5.7 and dolby atmos gyroscope and accelerator to keep it in the right places magic of airpods so it'll turn off when you take them off, it'll turn on when you put them on. And, uh, oh, they come with a little handbag. Oh, that is beautiful. Right, we've got to add that up. So, has anyone seen this handbag thing yet? No, there's no live event. Um, no live event, as far as we know, at least. Um, let's add another image. This is, uh, nope, let's not take that out. Let's add this one.
browse that one yes okay so they kind of fold flat and uh, and and look like a handbag which is nice um kind of with the blue as well it kind of harks back to the old uh, g g3 ibooks a little bit where you've got a nice little carry handle let me scooch you out of the way Whoop, over there so it looks a bit like that it's quite nice Today is the day where I pull all of my old Apple stuff off the shelf. So $549, yeah. <laughs> awesome, they are not cheap. Uh, additional features, right, automatic switching, yep, yeah, as we would expect. Audio sharing, yep, yeah, as we would expect. Siri, as you would expect. $549, yep. Yeah. AirPods Max div, uh, require 14.3 or later, which is also what we thought. They would need, let's just double check that they're not going to drop some air tags on us as well. No, doesn't look like it. So, uh, yeah, 10 minutes ago, we got the launch of Apple Fitness Plus launching on December 14th. Then we got uh, eight minutes ago, the uh, AirPods Max, which actually they do look really good. They do look really good. I've got to say that. Um, but a little bit annoying right where are we seeing all of this yash sharma if you go to apple.com forward slash newsroom you will be able to see all of the pictures and all of the interesting stuff it's all right there um right i'm gonna run back down through the chat really quickly uh yes they are expensive apologies guys uh i i didn't set many of the uh the prices um it doesn't actually say does it when they go on sale um is it a pre-order today and they'll be out for christmas or what Ah, AirPods Max will begin shipping on Tuesday, December the 15th. So you can use them the day after you start working out. Like, you've got to earn your Air AirPods Max by uh, losing some weight, okay? Cool. What was you? What was you, uh, John? I just see it, it was me, and I, I don't know who you're, who you're talking to. Um, but yeah. So, that's what we got. Um, they are expensive. Yep. Uh, we kind of expected they would be expensive. Yep. Doesn't look like there's a support version. If you want that, go grab your uh, your Beats Pros or your Beats Studios. Um, whatever you want. Uh, Kamiya599 uh, uh, has just tweeted, and you're wrong because it's 549, Kamiya. Oh, well. Um, but, yeah, I, I think it's one of these things where... There's a lot of people now, I'm just looking at my Twitter stream, and there's a lot of people going, oh, they're ugly, oh, I don't like it, oh. Christian Saini, there isn't a live event, my friend. It, this is purely, uh, there was a couple of press releases. Um, there was nothing in terms of a live event to watch, I'm afraid. Um, AirPods Max now come with a smart case, yeah, which is basically they fold out, uh, and you can fold them up, which is, I mean, fine. Um the headband is really off-putting. Yeah, it's a bit of a weird shape. I bet it's, like, super comfy, though. Um, I have a feeling... Um, could find 14... 14.3 uh, is dropping today. Who said that? Max, Max, Max. Uh, where have you seen that it's dropping today? Because it could be any time up until the 14th or 15th. Because that's when the product actually arrives. Um, so, yeah. My Focal Alpha 18 monitors cost 600 euros. Yep. Yeah, they're not cheap. Um, but I think we all kind of knew they weren't going to be cheap. Uh, I think that's pretty much what we were expecting. 549, 599 actually. Uh, 549 is 50 bucks less than we thought it would be. Um, so yeah, that is the product releases it looks like, guys. I don't know. Let me have a quick check though, in case. Because I know they haven't announced it. But let's have a quick check in Mac Mini and see if the option has arrived for doing the uh, 10 gigabit in Ethernet. So it says gigabit, gigabit, gigabit. Right, select. If I go into the store, can I now upgrade that? No. So gigabit Ethernet is still all you can have on Mac Minis uh, with M1. But uh, bear in mind that we have seen uh, parts replacement parts lists already where there is a potential 
that you could uh, pick those up. Um, if anyone's watching, by the way, and isn't subscribed to the channel, I can't imagine there's many of you, please do hit the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. We do make uh, daily content on this channel, at least. Um, I've probably put a couple of things together today. I've actually got a sponsor for next week's videos as well. Whoa, that is a first for me. It's very exciting when that happens. Oh, we've got the uh, we've got the names now. Space grey, sky blue, pink, and green are the the colours. Other than I guess white or silver, uh, not sure what that one's going to be called. Uh, Greg uh, from Greg's Gadgets has already ordered his. Delivers fifteenth to the seventeenth of December, so that's going to be interesting. That looks like when we will be seeing the reviews come out with reviewers. Um, when can you buy them? They are available in the store now, I guess. Um, so let's have a look. Music. Uh, where would you be in the music? So when you click into AirPods, they're not there. Uh, are they on the front page of the site now? Give something wonderful. If I go to gifts, are they a gift? An expensive gift? Nope. Apple gift cards, engraved AirPods. Maybe I need to do a force refresh of the page, but... I don't see them. Ah, there we go. AirPods Max is now on the front page. Um, and actually, there is a video playing. And I tell you what, they look a lot better in the video than they look on the photographs. Uh, yeah, head over to apple.com. Give it a forced refresh. Like Hold shift while you refresh the page. Uh, there is a video now for AirPods um Max, uh, but I still can't find where you buy them because even though the video is playing, there is no button. Uh, watch the film to learn more. Okay, right, you can hit learn more. Cool, we are going to put a proper video together. We will talk about this in tomorrow's show properly. Um, they're in the music section. Okay, they weren't two seconds ago when I looked, but now they are. Um, and yes, uh, you can buy them. That weave looks beautiful, they've really made that look nice. Um, a radically original composition. Cool. Yeah, they, uh, you guys, even though uh, when you look at the photographs in those press releases, they look kind of fugly. Um, go and check out the page on apple.com. I'm going to kind of wrap up the live stream at this point because we kind of know what's happening now. Um, but go and have a look at this page because this stuff looks awesome. Uh, we will put a proper video out tomorrow with a lot more detail on what's going on. Uh, thank you for coming. My lights are all starting to die, so it's getting really dark and it looks like a horror movie in, in this studio now. Um, so I'm going to wrap it up. But thank you all so much for coming. If you've got any questions that you want me specifically to answer, and I will uh, do my best to answer any of them, leave them in the comments, not in the live chat, in the comments with hashtag iCaveAnswers. Um, or go to any of my other videos or tweet me at iCave underscore Dave on Twitter. And you can check out the new website, which is kind of under construction, but you can have a look at it right now. It's iCaveDave.com. Um, that's what I'm trying to do, uh, is kind of build some stuff out uh, across other platforms. You can also get this cool t-shirt with makes all the sense of the world on it. Um, that is my thing. So head over to the site, have a look. Uh, icavedave.com forward slash merch if you want the shirt and thank you so much for all coming to the live stream we're going to end it now in ending it in five four three two one see you later then